Previously on Raft. We maimed a creature, looked at some paper, mache, set off a budget rocket ship, found a massive snow globe, did some puzzles, genuinely nearly peaked from motion sickness from doing the puzzle, recovered like a champ and played Spider-Man on the skyscrapers, gave myself the willies diving deep into the ocean, got into fight with the thickest shark you have ever seen in your entire life, played Crane Simulator 2023 and watched the sunrise on day... Actually... It's not really important what day it is. You see, this journey started out with me wanting to complete 100 days in this game. The focus was on the days, surviving, conquering the ocean and hitting the triple digits and saying goodbye. But along the way, something changed. It stopped being about just surviving and started being about the story. What started with a 100 day challenge ended with a genuine love for the game. My... My bollocks are about the size of a... of a... a sweet corn kernel. Or a pea. Um, it is absolutely freezing. Mm. Um, I don't know why I spoke to you about the size of my bollocks. Um, it's day 96, exactly where we finished off. Uh, where we killed the big rhino shark thing. And then now... We have another place to go to, I'm presuming. I have no idea. I, at this point now, I don't even think about things. I just follow blindly. 6483 to temperance. Whatever that is. Whatever that is. Turn it on. 6483. 1800 meters that way. Okay. We were a pro at this by now. Put in the code, lift the anchor. And off we yeet to a new destination. Uh, that's the top bit. All right, now we go forward. I don't, I don't know if this is going to be the last episode. You know that if this is going to be the last episode because it'll be in the title or the description. But as I'm sitting here right now, I don't know. I feel like I don't. How many hours am I into this game now? I must be pushing on 25, 30 hours into the game. I, I, I think that we're coming up to what's going to be the last, kind of the, the, the final closing oh, fucking moments of the, of the game, I feel. We've got this temperance. I, I don't know if it's the last place or not. The way that I've kind of thought about it is that this will be relatively evenly spaced, which makes me think we could have two more places after this. I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of clutching the straws a little bit there, but we'll have to see. Just how we like it. Balls deep and blind, going into the unknown without a scooby about what's going on. But that's what I like about Raft. It's not all action. You have these times of calmness where you're doing nothing but floating in the ocean. And let me tell you, I was never expecting to use the word ocean and calm in the same sentence. On the way to whatever this temperance was, we decided to try and make our raft a little bit more cozy. Lantern. Now that might be a good idea. I mean, I don't have a huge... Oh, God, I really don't have a huge amount of wood. But, um... Oh, fire basket. Let me make one of them. What does that look like? A basket of fire. Lo and behold, would you believe... Oh, 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 man, that gave me goosebumps. There's something so incredibly cozy about fire. I'm not saying this is a pyrotechnic, no, pyrotechnics, pyro, pyro, pyromaniac, pyromaniac. I'm not saying it is one of them, but there's something so blissful about when you're at a campfire and you, um, you're just like, just staring into the fire. I feel like there's something so mythical about it. No, am I? I can't be the only one. Oh, God, did I make three fire baskets? Oh, I can put one down here. Look, where should I put this one? Put it there. I'm not sure about the logistics of having several open fires on a wooden raft, but the game seemed to allow it, so question it no more, I shall. That being said, perhaps my subconscious knew something that the rest of me didn't. We would want to make the most of our time by a nice warm fire, because a little while later, we spotted something on the horizon. Something that would turn out to be rather cold. That's an island. You guys see that? Yeah. 
That what is that? That's not land. Nah, it's not land. Is it? Oh, it is. It is. It is. It is. It is land. It is land. Oh, I don't know why. Oh, it's giving me heebie-jeebies a little bit, but maybe that's because it gives me reference to the ocean. Hold up. Let me sleep. Let me sleep and we'll assess in the daytime. Assess we did and lo and behold, it was land. If you can call icebergs land. We had entered a frosty new biome and as we sailed closer, we saw a massive island on the horizon. We zigzagged and maneuvered our way through the massive icebergs and frosty plains before finally anchoring up near the big island and setting off on an adventure. Okay. Whoa. Why the hell do I run so slow? I don't know, it's icy, but so oh wait, I can go. Oh god, look at oh no, there's no traction. But if I jump, I'm fine. Okay. This is me now. This is how I move. It's the new locomotion of this biome. Oh! Something man made looks like a, a crate. Shipping container, maybe? A flag, a frozen flag. A tower. Oh, it's a bunker. No. Oh! Fuck off! Oh! Have we got third person? I can. Oh! oh my god, there's a polar bear! What the fuck? Oh, this thing's fast. Do I need to. Oh shit. Okay, okay. Uh. Oh! This it is some sort of like research laboratory. Question is can the bear get me here? Sorry, I didn't finish my sentence. How is the game just going to casually give me a snowmobile? How many kills, bullets is this going to, things is this going to take? How far can he run up these things? Can I cheese this? Oh, he's running away. Polar bear's a bitch. Oh, he's not a bitch. Run, 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 run. Can he, can he climb? He can't. Oh, he can climb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can climb. Okay, dodge. We're going to have to dodge like the bears. Dodge like the bears. Dodge like the bears. Oh, oh, he didn't do too much damage. He's a weak ass bear. Yeah, you're all fart and no shit, aren't you, you fluff ball? Oh, leave my snowmobile alone. We can just dodge. Yeah, look, he pauses and swipes. I really wish they kind of made these uh, animal encounters maybe a little bit more challenging. Maybe everyone else finds it challenging. Maybe I'm just so good at the game. Obviously, the latter reason, of course. Raft Esports Champion 2023. After killing the bear, we took a closer look at the tower it seemed to be guarding. At the base of it, there was a reel of electric cable that we could collect and add to our inventory. Not sure what we could do with this, we continued on the snowmobile until we came across what looked like a village. Of course, it was abandoned and nobody was in sight, but we buried our disappointment and headed down into one of the bunkers. Here, we discovered that it was filled with radiation and we couldn't enter further. So instead, we went back up and wandered around the village. Danger, electricity. Start. Oh no, puzzles. Wait, can I put this in here? No, maybe up the stairs. How, f how much cable has this thing got? Oh. oh, and then can I go from here? I see. Right, okay. I understand now. I understand. A network of cables that we would have to connect to presumably power something on in the village. That was what we deduced we were looking at with this puzzle. A gym! Oh, here we go. So for those of you that don't know, I spent my entire career until recently working in gyms. This is strength and conditioning coach. Let me give you a rundown of this. So first and foremost, this would massively fail on safety regulations for two reasons there is no stops well there's stop there but it should have one of them little safety buckles these are far too short we should have these extended back to at least halfway because otherwise if you're holding on to them not that you should hold on to them but if you are like going to use them you're too close to the belt here so craft sport shocking shocking although they look like they're powered by bluetooth because they're not plugged into anything all right some twat has left the um 
the weights on the uh, on the barbell here. Nice. Okay, we've got some dumbbells. What are these? Are these going to be in kilos or pounds? They're probably kilos. Yeah, the kilos are through up by five. Very nice. Oh, a squat rack. Here we go. Although the math ain't math in here. That 10 kilo is awful small compared to the 20. Oh, I thought I could pick up the barbell then. Nice. And then we got some yoga mats and exercise balls. But we don't care about them. We don't want the iron. Just the iron. And that's really disappointing. I can't kick this about. After failing the gym according to the rules and regulations of gyms according to Butch, we connected some more cables and moved to the next igloo house. Nevergreen tree. Maybe not Christmas tree. There's not... Oh, dome sweet. Fantastic. Dome sweet dome. All right, we've got a great cooker here. A mini... Oh, that's a succulent, that, isn't it? We've got some items. God, look, we're nearly full already. Um, a cute... Oh, wait. What's this? Landshoff prize. Oh, Landshoff's the big geezer, isn't he? The, the one at the top. Oh, Vending machine token. We have more tokens. Oh, wait, more vending machines. Most of the igloos followed a similar theme with a few vending machine coins and some basic loot. Eventually, though, we ran out of cables to connect and we had to go and collect some more. The towers were dotted about the island and they were usually accompanied by a polar bear. All in all, though, they weren't too difficult. Whilst we were hunting down the towers and the bears, we noticed two Homer Simpson towers in the distance. We decided to go and have a nosy. Oh, it's got some ambient noise to it. Oh, Celine Research Facility. What's... A fucking blowtorch. I need a radioactive suit and a blowtorch. Can I not just chip that shit off? Right, okay. So far, during our time on the island, we knew we needed some sort of radioactive soup to get us into the bunker, and we also needed a blowy to get through the big door. But putting suits and blowies behind us for a second, we returned with our electric cables to the village and connected some more power lines. And then where does this this one goes down here? Okay. Oh, a hospital wing. Oh, I was going to say, we've not found any notes. That kid Detto is really smart. Bruno. Using material we salvaged, he was able to fix up my boat. Ruben is recovering too, but uh, uh, he doesn't seem to want to talk to me a lot. Both of them stare whenever I talk to Henry. Henry doesn't like the way they look at us. <sighs> I think I need to do something. Wait. Wait, why are they looking at you funny? Wait, who's Henry? Oh, my memory's awful. I remember that. Oh, he's the wizard kid. A really smart one. And Bruno was the one that, um... Oh, oh, healing salve. Wherever Detto went, he left a wake of memories spoken by other people. This kid had survived strong and true, and it was nice to hear of him again. The next building that we entered was the biggest of the village. What secrets was this place holding? Oh. More trees. I don't know where these vending machines are. Loads of books. Oh, oh, the vending machine. All right, all right. Right, uh, dome sweet dome mat. We've got mugs, plates. Is that a carpet? There's now functional. There's no backpacks or anything. I will take that though. Thank you. Oh, I want the rug. There we go. Right, upstairs. Where are all my notes? Oh, tell you what, we've not seen any of Olaf, have we? Or his rats? Maybe, maybe he didn't get this far. Uh, oh, literally just about to say, a bit disappointed that there's not been like a, a blowtorch or a radioactive suit. And lo and behold, a blow was right in front of me. Finally, we got a blowy and my god, it felt good. There is nothing like some progression. Excited to use it, we headed straight back up to the iron door. I have a bad feeling about this. Nice. Again, we could have chipped away at it, but... Oh, a key. 
a key. Of course, of course, of course, the key. Where the f where is the key? This was the question we would have to answer to be able to see what was behind those iron doors. Without really knowing where to go or what to do, we ragged the snowmobile around the island until we spotted a building that we hadn't yet been to. Note. I've already lost Miranda. I will not lose you too, Henry. The two of us have followed a signal far south. I know it's from my sister. There's no doubt. Henry is skeptical. He thinks the cold will be dangerous. I'm more scared of whatever's out there in the snowstorm. So Bruno came through. Oh, oh no, no, no. Oh, I'm in a hole. I'm in a hole. I'm in a hole. I'm in a. No. No, don't make me do it. Don't. It's going to make me do it, isn't it? Oh, why? Ah. Uh, if I go in here. It's, uh, it's like uh, underneath the island. Oh, oh, underneath an iceberg. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, I'm done. All right. Why the fuck is this water not frozen, by the way? All right. Three, two. Oh, okay. That's not too bad. All right. Oh, God. There's a, there's a fish. There's a spiky fish. All right. We'll just go. We'll just go. Don't even worry about the fish. Let me flip us on. Let me go a little bit faster. We swam through the cave, up along a long ladder, and arrived at the base of what looked to be some sort of research tower. Eh, yeah, this is a lovely place. Eh, yeah, look, a note. There's bears all over this frozen island. One of them completely wrecked the boat when we tried to get away. None of the usual tricks worked either. Henry and I would have been eaten if that boy with the air horn hadn't showed up. His name is Detto. Says he came here with some survivors. Oh. I asked Henry if I should trust the boy. But I didn't get an answer. Oh, you can trust Detto a thousand. I'm sorry. I thought Bruno was with, um, uh, was, was, was with, um, Detto. He's not. Okay, that's fine. But we know Detto's here. He's the only one I care about right now. He's the only one we care about. There's another note here. New note added. Okay, here's the thing. Allow me to be open with you for a second. If I left how long it actually took me to solve puzzles in my videos, then these videos would be exceedingly long. So allow me to summarize. Here, we found a collection of notes, four of them in total, each showing a diagram of something followed by a number. Following the spiral staircase to the top level, we discovered that me thinking this was a research center was only half right. It was, in fact, an observatory. Next to the rather large telescope, there was a safe with a four digit combination on it. So the goal was clear here. We needed to figure out the code. We noticed on the walls, there appeared to be posters of star constellations alongside a number. Finally, there was a console in front of the telescope that we could control. The controls pointed the telescope at various constellations so we could view them. After a painfully long time, we figured the puzzle out. Each constellation had a certain number of stars. The notes that we found showed diagrams of the star constellations and the numbers represented in the order 1 to 4. I deduced that we simply had to find the corresponding constellation from the note on the console, find out how many stars made up that constellation, and boom, we had a digit of our code. <gasps> yes! A key! Tokens. And an, adv oh, an advanced station reactor. That's fine. We picked it up, so I don't... That's just a blueprint. Right. Okay. We did it. We did it. We did it. We got the key. Let's go put the key in. Let's not waste any time. Let me eat some shark meat as well. 
Ah. Oh. As much as I hate puzzles in video games, and I do hate puzzles in video games, there is that level of satisfaction when you do complete one. I'll say that much. I'll say that much. There's more satisfaction, though, from killing things. Come here, bitch. After we disposed of yet another polar bear, we headed straight back to the big iron gate to insert the key and discover what lay beyond. Here's what's going to happen, because obviously I've been brilliant at predicting everything so far. Uh, we're going to go into the Homer Simpson tubes. Using the... I'm not going to fall off anything here. Which way do we go? About that way. Uh, and we're going to find a radioactive suit. And then we're going to use the radioactive suit, which is going to... Uh, Allow us to go down into the, the into the, the bits with the with the with the radioactiveness, and then in there is going to be a code to the next place. We keep hearing about we we read in the note there the place with lots of people. I think that might be the end of the game now, where we we find a human civilization that everybody's happy, everybody's like all good, and and there's lots of land. And it's abundant in fruit and animals and, and resources and planks, all that sort of good stuff. And the game will be like, the end, and it'll be really happy. That's what's going to happen. So, radioactive suit in the bunker. Bunker, code, code, new place, game finishes, you subscribe. Oh. Oh my god, look at this. This looks sciencey. It's like a reactor. Oh, we gotta fix things. We gotta fix things. It is, it is genuine reactor. Insert control rods. I am called Sparrow. Whoever finds this know that I held humanity's interest first. Always. Sparrow. I was sent to Celine alongside two colleagues. Sparrow. One which I discovered was a mole by the investors. Had Owl been allowed to come to Selene, the knowledge of this unlimited green energy would have been monopolized by the same people who caused this mess to begin with. The other colleague I left behind. I did not trust you, Kaku. I couldn't. It was too much of a risk. Kaku. I hope you will forgive me. We read about a sparrow, did we not? Way back when at the... The, the bit where we found out the shark was called Bruce and we, we seen somebody Sparrow, Cuckoo so we need control rods that we're gonna find and oh it, I told you oh my god there's a timer oh shit how on earth are we gonna get one of these away Oh, maybe that maybe this leads to somewhere 50 sn what does that mean 20 ca what what fifth up rb oh no chlorine 17 chlorine what's that 10 another puzzle another painful experience for you guys to watch so alas allow me to summarize this one was fairly straightforward yet i still fucked up numerous times on this floor, there was a bunch of posters which had chemical elements and their two-letter abbreviation alongside a two-digit code. In various rooms on this level, there were also a bunch of computer consoles, each with a sign showing a chemical abbreviation. So, super simply, you had to punch in the code from the matching poster into the console. The difficult part was, when you punched in the first code, a timer started and you had to complete all of the consoles before it ran out. This combined with the, I can't believe I'm saying this, durability of the radiation suit, it meant I had to do it a few times, but eventually we completed it. Oh, this door opened. We're going down deeper. I bet you there's rats here. Oh no, rats. I hate that my radioactive thing wears down even. Oh my. Rod, we have a rod. Oh. 
Oh, that's worse than rats. Is that, I, I, is that a bug? I don't want to stop and look just in case. Ah, there we go. Uh... Uh, I'm so I'm sorry. I'm overwhelmed. Was that a mutant ladybug? What the fuck's this? I presume I'm into. <gasps> oh my! Yep, mutant ladybugs. Again, another thing I was not expecting in this game. To fix the reactor, we had to explore this research lab and find three control rods. To get the remaining ones, we had to do the most frustrating task I've done yet. A laser mirror reflection challenge thing. Honestly, this was about 20 minutes of me randomly spinning mirrors around to reflect a laser beam because could I figure the damn thing out? But eventually, through sheer brute force, we angled them all right and it opened the door which led to the control rods. We then used the controlled rods and slotted them in the main reactor control center back where we started. This opened up the main chamber-like room which contained a reactor. We had to fight off a few more mutant ladybugs while spinning a valve to shut the reactor down. This then, you guessed it, opened a another door but this time it led to some sort of cryogenic human freezer section. That's an ECG, what the f- there's someone in there. Oh, goosebumps, man. Oh. Good morning. You're not. Oh, get it. They left me here. Wow. Thanks for waking me up. Long term cryosleep can result in a number of issues. <laughs> What? So, how long? You got room for a bioengineer? I swear, it's actually practical. Do it with the hands. Great! That's very nice of you. I didn't say I'll shit, do my fam. Best. New playable character. Nice. Alright. And he disappears. That was unexpected. Oh! That's it! Utopia! We have it. Is this the last place? It was the last place. We didn't know it yet, but this was to be our final chapter. We didn't hang about, how could we, after all? We did, however, search the underground bunkers on our way back, and I'm glad we did, because there was a ton of titanium ore there. But before you knew it, we were back on our raft, and was heading to our final destination, Utopia. I have, um, I've had to upgrade to my house coat that we call it here in Scotland. You might know it as a dressing gown. I've even also got a hot water bottle. A water bottle. A hot, oh. Ooh. A hot water bottle because it is absolutely free. Let me just get my tie there. There we go. There we go. It's like a, it's like a child. Like, shh. Shh. Oh, shit. Oh. No swearing. No swearing. Uh, that's going to fit in. Just, uh, it is genuinely freezing. And I'll be real with you. Uh, heat, putting the heating on is really expensive. So we're wearing this now. The cold temperatures both in my room and in the game couldn't cool my excitement of reaching Utopia. This felt like endgame ship. So we kept the engine on full throttle and the sails pointed towards our destination. We used our excitement during this downtime as we traveled by making some upgrades to our raft. First and foremost, a large storage unit. I always felt like I was lacking on sufficient storage, so this massive unit was to massively help me. Whilst reaching in our loop, we realized we had completely forgotten we had a piano. It was time to dust off the old magic fingers. 
Well, it makes perfect sense to have it. Oh my god. Hold up. Hold up. Wait, wait, you ready? Wait, no. To sing the campfire song, the C A M P F I R E S O N G song. And if you don't sing it faster than you, if you don't sing it faster than you, faster than you're wrong. It'll help if you just sing. Along, it's the C A M B F A R E S O N G song. C A M B F A R E S O N G song. And if you don't think that you can sing it faster, then you're wrong. It'll help if you just sing along. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. <laughs> ah. Focus on the journey, not the destination. It's the journey that's important, not the destination. These are all things I'm sure all of us have been told during a time of need by a friend, family member or fortune cookie. And whilst it may be cliche and somewhat cheesy, it's also correct. And it's something that this game embodies. Sure, the points of interest are exciting. Big islands to explore, creatures to battle, a story to unfold. But what really makes this game special is those moments in between. The journey between the islands. There really is something serene and almost nostalgic about creating your own raft. You literally start with a piece of wood and a plastic hook. And plank by plank, you build something special. Something that's yours. Something that you can call home. That's what I like about this game. Sure, the ocean makes my bowels turn into a gravy McFlurry machine, but if I try not focus on that, I can almost relax while playing. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> oh, oh my god, is it just me or is it getting warm in here? Hold up, let me put that between my loins instead. Oh, oh that's warm. Look. What? Oh. <gasps> We're coming up to Utopia. I think we are. Oh, this is it. Oh, nice. Oh my god. What if, what if I made? I love how now, now, when we reach Utopia, where we might see everybody, now I'm like, eh, actually, I kind of want to make some shit. I want to want an outhouse. Oh, I need nails, not bolts. What I want in life is to be able to have shit while looking at the carcass of a shark. There we are. Look at that one. Curling one out. One of those ones that's so long that it actually like touches the water before it leaves your sphincter. With a diet jacket potatoes and that, that's probably highly likely that that would be an occurrence in this situation. 
We had finally, after all this time, laid our eyes on Utopia. And as we drifted closer, it became apparent that this place used to be a large city. Skyscrapers towered into the clouds and there looked to be a network of buildings that could only be described as tree houses. We prepared ourselves as quick as we possibly could and then began to explore. Let's do it, it's time. Oh my god. It's a fat shovel. Donde esta mi shovel? Nothing. Oh. oh, bugs! What the fuck? Bugs. There's only one thing I hate more than bugs. Puzzles. And would you believe it? Oh. It's, uh, some sort of irrigation system. Uh, do I need to turn it on? Where does it lead to? Oh, there's another one over here. Maybe, maybe don't worry about that just yet. Too much thinking power. Right, what's in here? Who's in here? Oh, look. No. Detto. Super secret. I have my own raft, and it's hooked up to actual wind turbines. If I had even more power, just imagine all the He made this place. But now that lunatic Olaf appeared, his cages are already unloaded and now he's promising to help everyone with his army. Last I saw him, Olaf Wilkstrom ruined Caravan Town. I will never forgive him. I hope Han and Ruben listen to me. He's not to be trusted. Just in case, I decided to up the security on my raft. This map should allow only the smartest of people to enter. Like me. Right, so that's the security that he's talking about. We can't get in. Olaf's been here, the little shit. The little fucking shit. Oh! Requires harpoon and carbon dioxide can canister. Right, okay. Well, it looks like we do need to turn on this irrigation system somehow. Oh, God. Don't fall off here. That would be tragic. Um, if I look at the map, there's a water pump. So, the house, the water pump. So... We need to fill the water tank up and turn a water pump on. Seems simple, right? Wrong for me. Anyway, what was to follow was an agonizing experience of an absolute refusal to Google any solutions, followed by a tenacity to never quit. Oh, we also ran into something. Electricity. That's an electricity symbol by the looks of it. <gasps> oh, what the fuck are you? What the fuck are you? Oh no. Are you like a hyena or something? Are you a hyena? Are you a rabid hyena? Oh. oh my god. Oh, this is bad. He's, he's fucking dragging me. Oh, I killed your fam. I killed your dad. Well, this is surprising. Mutant hyenas. Big, thick boys with a taste for human. You'd have thought that these would have been my worst enemy. But do you know what was? Boxes. That's right, boxes. The challenge that was presented to us was this. We had to connect yet another series of towers with electrical cables in order to provide power to some water pumps. This, however, was not an easy task as it involved us having to use the boxes in order to reach hard to get areas like the rooftops of buildings. All in all, this literally took me about 45 minutes, but through lots of trial and error and the occasional Hakuna Matata having a nibble at me, we did manage to connect all of the wires and power on the pump. But Butch, we like watching these parts of the videos as you figure things out. Shut your mouth. That's like giving a monkey a crossword puzzle or a League of Legends player a woman. They just don't have a clue what to do with it. It's a kind of suffering where you almost feel sorry for them. What was worse was once we had done with the puzzle, we had the water pipe puzzle to follow next. This involved having to spin three sections of an irrigation system in order to correctly connect the pipes to allow the water to flow through. Listen, as much as I love Detto, this was the most back asswood way to design an irrigation system, so 10 points from Gryffindor. But because I'm a highly educated, glorious individual, I did dispatch the puzzle, and guess what? Another puzzle. Upon further investigation of Detto's locked cabin, we realized that there was a map with three red circles on it. 
These red circles indicated three specific mounds of dirt, which when we dug up, uncovered part of a code. Once we had all three, we could then enter the code in Detto's front door and have a look inside. Oh, wait, I probably need to work out the code. Um, right. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Three parts of the code. Here we go. Pa oh, do can I just click on it? I don't actually. Oh, the rocket ship. The rocket ship. What is he building? How old is this kid? He is smart. Oh! Big backpack. Hey, fuck yes. Now that is his harpoon. Oh, is that for... For, um... This. Up here. I was hoping Detto would be in, but he's not in. I hope I get to meet him. I've read so much about him. I feel like I know him. I feel like if you've ever watched The Expanse, Detective Miller, I feel like what Julie is to Detective Miller, Detto is to me. Use. Oh, Ooh, shit. Right. Let's do it. Fuck it. YOLO. Hey, oh, this is a big zip line. Oh, shit. All right. Slow down. Oh, entrance key. Where's the entrance? Why would somebody leave that lying about? Okay. Uh, wait, what? Oh. All right, we go down here, I guess. Is this the entrance? Eat. Travel 500 meters with a zip line tool. All the. Am I actually 100% this game? Without meaning to. Don't usually 100% games. Because I have, um, what's it called? Uh, a life. Two. Oh, I suppose, yeah, one and two. Fuck. Shit. Two keys. And although we had one, we didn't have a clue where the second one was. So we ended up just wandering about. Let me guess, this requires a different key. There's people in here. Hello? Hello? Oh. From the people of Utopia. Do not trust Olof Wilkström. When he arrived here, we took his word in good faith. He exploited us at every turn. Now all of us, dissenters, are locked up, which is everyone by my count. To anyone reading oh. this, Olof should be up in the marketplace. Beware of his rabbit beasts. Please, take the master key from him. Set us free. Set Utopia Fuck. free. Olaf's put them all in fucking prison. Entrance key. They're actually in there. There's people in there. And Olaf's up at the marketplace. Where the hell's them? Right, okay. Focus up now. We have the key for the entrance key. Is it this way? I'm lost. Can add dexterity. Ampidextrous. You know what ampidextrous means? It's one of them frogs that live in water. Ah. Oh. I'm guessing there's more vending machines here as well. Holy hell, right. Propellers. Oh. Am I supposed to do that? A cogwheel. I need to... Oh. Shit, more puzzles. Oh, I'm hitting my puzzle quota for the day. I've had a full shift today as well. I've had enough puzzles for today. Hammer. Fuck, man. A cogwheel and a hammer. Oh, this is like some full guys only up shit. Well, let me show you how good I am. Look at that. Uh, oh. We had come across some sort of elaborate tree house only up section. And I didn't really mind this. I've always preferred things which challenge motor function as opposed to cognitive function. We got to the other side and discovered a hammer and a lift. 
for you North Americans, that's an elevator. But this was broken and it needed a cog. So back we went to the door, which we could now open by using the hammer. And that's when we met him. We finally laid eyes upon him. Was this it? Have I been here before? Oh, yeah, this is it. Shit padlock. Whoa. I will only say this once. <gasps> Leave on your own. Oh, Leave Utopia to me. Oh. Or else... Cogs. The forward scouts end with you. You're... Oh. He's actually here. Oh, I hope we get to kill him. I really do. What happens now? Why does this feel like a boss battle area? Right, we've got some serious puzzling to do here. And that we did. And I would love to sit here and tell you that I solved it on purpose, but honestly, that would be too far from the truth. This puzzle was a suspended platform that you could raise or lower by adding on weights. I knew there was a particular order, and if you had a basic understanding of maths or order, then it might have been easy. But for me, I just YOLO'd my way through it, throwing on weights willy-nilly. You see, you had to place a cog on the platform. Then, by carefully selecting the correct sequence of weight, have the platform rise to the correct level so you could lift the cog off and progress. There was nothing careful about the way I did it. It was a turkey shoot, but eventually, I did do it. Math ain't mathing for me, but that's okay. Because now, I think, yes. Oh. I think we're good. Around. Oh. The filthy rafters turn luxury apartments into a scrapyard. Relieving them of the responsibility was the only decent thing I could do for them. I'm gonna I can't fish for your scrotum. How grateful all of you are. How are you having to go at them for survive? <sighs> Right, okay. I feel like this puzzle is going to be harder than the previous one, and the problem is I didn't actually understand the previous one, so this could be a problem. Yeah, it was. This was long, and I'm not talking four inches long. I'm talking embarrassingly long. So this is the part where I distract you from the fact that it takes me a while to do puzzles by adding in a narration bit. And I usually make these a little bit longer than a simple transition monologue. I also had some music in, but I made sure it's at a different tempo from the previous one, all to distract you from the fact it took me ages. But hey, would you look at that? I did it. Did it. Not through maths, just by repetitive repeating. That's it. I am walking proof that you don't need to be good at math. You just need to be good at brute force and things. Am I supposed to put this somewhere? I don't think Olaf made this, but if he did, cre all credit to him, because it is quite extravagant. Wait, ain't this the same? Oh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where am I meant to get the, the cogs? Cogs are meant to go where? I'm actually salviating at the thought of being able to do this. And then that goes all the way yonder. And then I just do my parkour thing real quick, get across to the other side, put that in the elevator, and then the elevator will take me somewhere. Take the cogwheel. Yes. Beautiful. Oh, that was a quick one. <laughs> the good news is we were now done with the platform puzzles. The bad news is things are about to get a little heated. You had your chance to leave, but you just won't listen. So fine, have it your way. Where are you? Welcome to Utopia. Thank you. Are you there, you twat? I feel like something. Oh! What the fuck is going on? Oh! Well, this is not ideal. Olaf really didn't want me getting any closer to him. So much so that the challenge now was to avoid his infinite supply of homemade bombs as we use boxes to make a sort of staircase to allow us to reach the platform he was raining fire down from. 
slowly but surely and with a level of calmness which i honestly wasn't expecting we managed to gather all of the boxes and arrange them in a way which meant we could reach the ledge there we go look at ah oh, we did it did it where's my metal spear electrical zip line warehouse key not the master key but a warehouse key oh we're going higher this is cool i will admit i'm enjoying this bit holy he oh that's who he was on about right okay these don't scare me i have full health fuck this oh no Deo is the only reason anyone's alive okay this might actually be a bad idea Oh, shit. Shit. Okay. We only have a third of a bow. Thus commenced somewhat of a downward spiral. Low and durability on the spear and the bow. Raining firebombs and mutant hyenas. We were in for a ride. Do regret not making another bow or a metal spear. Wait, can I make a metal spear? No. No, I can't. Oh, shit. Right, we can't miss. I just want my arrows. Fuck it. Just. Oh, shit. There's more. No. Oh, we didn't plan for this. Oh, no, 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 no. If I just keep jumping. What? How the fuck is he going from up there? Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. I can't. How? I'm actually going to die. No. That's actually fucking outrageous. Oh, let me up, please. What the fuck is this? Come on. I can do this. I think I die. I think I die. Come on. Oh, so I need two more. I need one to go on there. Oh, I'm genuinely so stressed. Yes! This guy's a fucking psycho. I'm so stressed. No. It's just, you can't punch in the game. So I'm not going to be able to fight off hyenas real soon just because my durability and my spear, my bow and I, I should have made another one. I was stupid not to. I was really stupid not to. Hopefully, there isn't two more situations where I need my spear. I cannot be asked going all the way back to the boat. I need rope and metal ingots regardless. Unless wooden spear or plank and rope. This is a nightmare. Oh my god. Don't let there be any more hyenas, please. Oh! <laughs> Is that a fucking massive hyena? Yeah, that, that would be... Oh, it's a fucking boss fight. <sighs> there is a boss fight. Oh, sweet Jesus of Nazareth. No durability. No resources and no clue what we were about to get ourselves into this was going to be a clusterfuck well we gotta do this first time oh. do i need to put him on a leash the strong remain you forward scouts were the same. You build yourselves up from nothing. You keep going until you encounter something stronger. Alpha, in position. Clear! Fuck. If I don't need to attack... Wow, great animation there. If I don't need to attack him, we're fine. I thought it would be something to do with the leashes. Why would it not be something to do with the leashes? Well, that doesn't seem to affect him at all. Does it? Oh, great. Half my health has gone. Love that. Mate, I can't kill a fucking bear with the amount of shit that I have on me. Never mind a radioactive mutant Hakuna Matata. Yeah, are these even affecting him? What's going on here? What? What the fuck's this? 
Is that his bollock? Did I just see his dick? <laughs> what the fuck is that? It wasn't so much the fact that I died that pissed me off. It was the fact that the reason I died, in my eyes anyway, was that I didn't have the durability on my weapons to compete. It all came back to durability at the end of the day. I hated it, despised it, and it had cost me time. God, I was thoroughly depressed having to loop back up and make my way all the way back to the top. But we did it, and eventually we were back in the arena, except this time it was different, because I was out for revenge. Yeah, look. Oh, fuck off. Like five nights of Freddy's this shit, man. When he, whenever he's glowing, I feel like he's, his hide, like, thickens. I can do this. I just have to believe. Yeah, look, now I won't be able to hit him, so I'm not I'm not going to waste. Oh, shit. It's fine. We're going to take our time. These don't come too fast. I can do this. I can do this. It's just timing and patience. That's all it is. Lots of jumping. Don't corner yourself in this bit. Look how many fucking arrows I've got in him. Come on. Look at this. Elite strats. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, come on. Come on. Die. Oh. <gasps> Oh no, I'm out of bullets. I need more bullets. No! Is there any way to dodge that? Oh, please, for the love of God. I might cry. Oh, yes! Yes! Oh. Can I have my arrows back? I'll hold the pick up. I can't tell you all that was running through my head was I don't have the time. I don't have the time. We had done it. Hakuna Matata was no more. He was finished. And now it was time to once and for all come face to face with Olaf. Oh, I might be able to push him out the window. I am your savior. Everything that you have done. Oh. oh, fuck. He didn't die. Oh, you're... I can't... I'm not going to be able to kill him, am I? Because what rating is this game? I promise you, I'm not a psychopath. Honestly, I'm not. But let's move quickly on from that subject, as we had one more thing to do. We might actually be doing this. I could be building this up, and I'm so far off, but I feel... That this is it. This is the walk. Oh, I've got goosebumps. Self broke civilization. The survivors were left with nothing. Yet they persisted. Is that better? The forward scouts rose up from the wreckage defied our flooded world and brought back hope oh. Oh, he didn't die Utopia stands free once again thanks to their actions he's in the fucking jail final chance we can begin this slow and difficult road to recovery from today on we are all forward scouts ready to discover the next step for humanity Oh. Yes! That 
That's it. Oh! Finish the story. We fin- We did it. We did it. We did it. Deto, is it really you? <sighs> you, sir. You're the real, real hero of this story. No one ever listens to me. Maybe they'll listen after this. They should. That's the only line the game's going to give him. The best character in the game. Good work. Oh, more. Olaf won't be ruining anything else as long as I have a say in it. You should be king. I heard some of the rafters made it out of Tangaroa. Sanjay might be with them. He'll always make it. Ah, uh, I'll be fine. Him. Something deeply hey, wrong. Fuck off, Eula. I miss caravan temperance for a bit. I miss my as a researcher. So, did you get to stop fingering me, please? Utopia is my home now. Everyone is really nice sure here. to investigate on behalf of the council. You've heard about my experiments? Who told you? I seen them firsthand. I think Ruben got me a raft because he didn't want me causing any trouble with the high risers. Jokes on him. I haven't even blown up the raft once. So far. <sighs> you know what? It's it feels like we started We started the game on the raft. It it feels <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I hate the ocean so much. Hey, we started we started the game on the raft. It only feels right that we finish it on the raft. I I mentioned this before, I can't remember in what episode. But I actually thought to myself when I first started playing the game, oh no. This is gonna be a long playthrough. I didn't enjoy the game for like the first five hours. It was I, I, I just felt it was a bit tedious. I felt like it was just like grindy. And I was like, it has oceans in it. And listen, it's already difficult for me to enjoy a game if it has oceans in it in the first place. Never mind with all these other stuff. But as I started exploring, as we started to find out more about Bruce and the, the people in the game, as we started to discover the different uh, like points of interest, the islands, the cruise ship, all of that sort of stuff, then... Then I really started to enjoy it. After completing this game now, I can say I'm really glad I played Raft. It's been a game that I've seen. I've not watched any content of it. Of course, I've no interest in ocean games. But it's one of those things you always hear people talk about it. Oh, what a good game Raft is. You should try Raft. It's one of the better survival games. And we did it. We did it. We did it. We actually completed it. We actually completed it. But I have a big thank you to you. Thank you for sticking through this journey with me. I really, really do appreciate it. The videos have taken a very, very long time to make. But that's okay because I do love making them. But if you have enjoyed the video, it would mean the world to me. If you could just drop the video a like. And if you aren't subscribed and you're watching the outro screen to part 5 of Raft. Need I say more? Hit that subscribe button. You have no idea, troops, how much it helps. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But guys... Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Fuck! Jackson! We did it. We fucking did it.